Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a sound healing session, personal reading, or tarot class, all of that will be in the description down below as well as other stuff for you to go check out. So let's see what we have for you. Number seven with the Cosmic Entrant. Enchantress. Wishcraft. I attract a steady flow of abundance. So you're wishing. Aquarius. Connecting with the cosmos and you're, you're attracting in a steady flow of abundance. This is consistency. This is not stop, start, stop, start. This is consistency where it steadily comes in. It's the flow. All right. Aquarius. 17 with the amber star. Maybe you're working with amber here. I let go. I surrender and allow myself to breathe. When you're letting go, Aquarius, maybe you're letting go of past attachments. We have the grieve here. So that could be letting go of grieving. Something that you have grieved here. Could be a person. Number 18, the shining star. Glow. I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. Aquarius, so... What I feel like for you, I feel like the numbers sevens and eights are going to be very important for you. You can see a lot of sevens and eights. You know, seven's like a lucky number. All right. It's my number. Eight is, you know, it's the infinity number, which explains that, right? Steady flow of abundance. Infinity. Aquarius. I feel like you're letting go of things that do not serve you. Um, attachments, grieving, all that sort of stuff. Aquarius. And you're attracting in this flow of infinity, of abundance. Aquarius. And you're not... You're not dimming yourself for other people anymore. You're being you in your authentic self. We have number five with the universal midwife. We have birth. I birth fruitful and sacred assignments. So you're like in this empress mode, Aquarius, all right? You're bringing things into reality. You're bringing, yeah. You're in empress mode. That's what you are in. You're in creation mode, Aquarius. Look at this. Number two with beloved Zeus, lovers. This cosmic union is destined for greatness. All right, and you do have love coming in. All right, we have Zeus. You're connecting with Zeus here. So you're connecting with the deity Zeus. Your soul has an attachment to him. And you may, your lover may be manifesting in the form of Zeus, or Zeus may be taking um, control of your lover here. Either way, you're having a union with him. Number 26 with the triple star grid align. I connect and align with my higher consciousness. You're connecting with higher consciousness, higher vibration. You're in this high vibration mode, Aquarius, all right? Releasing the old. You're in creation mode. You're connecting with very powerful lovers as well. And you're shining so brightly here. You're shining like a star, all right? Like your card in the tarot, okay? So I want to have a look at your beloved Zeus card. Number two. Synergy, divine partnership, co-create. If you are currently single, this stargate symbolizes a passionate, devoted, and spiritual connection flowing in for you. Look at that, that flow. <laughs> Aquarius, new love is on the horizon. Alternatively, this card signals a deepening of an existing relationship with more intimacy and greater connection. Either way, you lift each other up to the stars. Together, you co-create synergy and stardom. Maya, encourages you. To integrate the sacred feminine and masculine within, to draw in and expand the multidimensional love you are so worthy of. Aquarius. So this is a big love here. All right? It's important love. It's divine. All right? So, Aquarius, that is all I have for you. And if you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye, guys.